Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we are going through the 2021 OWASP Top 10, and this is video number four. And security risk number four on the 2021 list is insecure design. So this is a new category for 2021, and it focuses on the risks that are related to design and architectural flaws, um, and it calls for more threat modeling and secure design patterns and reference architectures, those kinds of things. So, you know, you hear a lot about this shift left in terms of security, and frankly, we need to move, you know, need to move beyond even the shift left and look at pre-coding activities that are critical for the principles of secure design. And so, um, as we talk about insecure design, this is a broad category that represents different weaknesses, um, things like, you know, missing or ineffective control design, uh, this is uh, this is not, by the way, the, the source for all other top 10 risk categories. So there's a difference between insecure design and insecure implementation. So we'll kind of get into that in, in future videos. Um, but, you know, a secure design can still have a problematic uh, implementation with it or defects related to implementation that lead to vulnerabilities. Um, but this is the insecure design, you know, in and of itself where an insecure design cannot be fixed by a perfect implementation. So, you know, at the, at the root of it, at, at the fundamental, you know, parts of the application, there is a, uh, there's a security, you know, insecure design. So, okay, so let me, let me draw a couple things here. Let's say you're building an application and it's gonna be awesome. And you're looking at, you know, prior to building that, you wanna think about the architectural components, how you're gonna design this thing, right? And so you think about how to roll in security into that before you even start writing your first line of code, right? So to give, uh, to give maybe a, a bit of a scenario, let's say that you are a cinema or like a movie, you know, so I'm gonna say, you know, this is a, let's say you're a movie theater, right? So I'll just put, you know, you're a movie theater and you have an online application where people can, uh, can buy tickets. So you have, you know, people out here that want to, they wanna buy their, you know, their movie ticket, right? And so they're gonna come into your application and buy their ticket. Well, let's say in your application, you want all these people to come to your movie, right? And let's say that you offer some kind of a, like a group discount or like a bulk discount. And you say that if there's, you know, less than 15, uh, 15 tickets, then you can, you can, you know, uh, reserve those on this application before you have to put down a deposit, you know, for this group of people to come and watch the movie, right? Okay, so if there's, uh, if, so then what an attacker could do, so let's say you have an attacker out here, you know, an attacker could say, hey, let me, let me take advantage of the design of this. So this could be an amazing application in the sense that it runs very well, it's very fast, it's available, you know, it, it gives the tickets and all that stuff. But just the nature of the design is that an attacker could come in and buy 14 tickets, right? and do that, you know, a hundred times and sell out every one of your movie theaters and never have to put one dollar down. So, you know, here's the dollar sign, right? And I'm gonna say, eh, they don't have to spend any money. So basically what they've done is they've taken, they've taken advantage of, a, of an insecure design in the application itself to say, hey, I'm going to buy out or reserve all of these tickets and effectively block out any kind of a legitimate user, a legitimate, you know, movie goer that would want to come watch the movie um, and they've reserved all the seats in all your theaters, right? And so, of course, the movie company is not happy about that because they're like, hey, man, we just we, we didn't show the movie at all tonight because all of our tickets got reserved or whatever. So anyway, that's just one example or one scenario of an insecure design. Um, I like to think of maybe a different, you know, analogy. If you were to, you know, if you were to build a house, right? So I'll just put a house right here and you have, you know, your front door and it's, you know, it's awesome. Um, and you put a lock on this front door and you don't want anyone to get in. But then let's say that, you know, here on the back side of the house, there's maybe another, you know, entryway that uh, that's just an open concept. And so, you know, this one right here is open all the time just by the design of the house. It's, you know, it's one of these open concept kind of things, right? It doesn't matter how many locks you put on this door, if this one is an open concept by design, then people can come right into it, right? So I think you get the idea of just the insecure design foundational idea of this security risk, right? So, 
secure design, it's, it's a culture, it's a, it's a methodology that constantly evaluates threats and it ensures that code is robustly designed and tested to prevent known attack methods you know, into your application. Right, so something to think about is secure software um, requires a secure development life cycle, right? Some sort of, some sort of secure design pattern, uh, you know, secure component libraries, tooling, you know, threat modeling, that kind of thing, right? Um, and so another thing you need to, to keep in mind is you need to reach out to your security specialist at the beginning of the software project throughout the whole, throughout the whole project. So don't just talk to them at the beginning, but throughout the whole project. And, and throughout the maintenance of the software. So incorporate the, the security team throughout the entire life cycle of this code. Um, I've mentioned this before, but just to say it again, use threat modeling for critical authentication and access control and business logic and, and key flows that are going through the application. You need to write tests to validate that, you know, that all the critical flows are resistant to that threat model. So threat modeling is really important when you talk about you know, secure design. Um, you need to compile use cases, and not just use cases, but misuse cases for every tier of the application. So, you know, when you do the testing, go back to this movie theater example, you don't need to just test that the application works and it will sell a ticket to an online moviegoer, right? But you need to do a misuse case, like, hey, what if an attacker group comes in and buys just under the, you know, ticket, uh, you know, threshold for purchasing a, or putting down a deposit, right? So. So use cases and misuse cases. So these are all things to keep in mind, you know, with, with respect to insecure design or rather secure design of an application. But this is the number four security risk on the OWASP top 10. This is a big deal for uh, applications in the world today. So make sure you design your applications securely. So thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. Hey, if you like this, you can click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.